My dear friends, welcome to Rajashekar classes on Applied Data Science with Python. This is lecture number 515. In this lecture, we will try to understand HITS score. The next very interesting algorithm is called HITS algorithm. So, because let's go to Wikipedia article because the way you get the hit score is very simple because hits is a very popular algorithm in search which is already implemented in network x so let's understand what hits does in a nutshell going to wikipedia article hits stands for hyperlink induced topic search hits is often referred to as hubs and authorities this is developed by john cleanberg a great researcher in the area of web search so hubs and authorities in a nutshell the whole idea is this so when internet started in the 1990s there are two types of web pages there are web pages like yahoo.com where there are web pages like yahoo.com which were basically directories so yahoo.com is basically a place where you had links to other major links for example on yahoo.com you would have a page for pets you should go to some other website yahoo.com is mostly the directories again it was in the early early days of internet so in the 90s yahoo was basically a directory which is linking linking to other sources so people would typically go to yahoo.com or aol.com and from there they would start their journey of internet remember this is pre google days so now nowadays we mostly go to google and start searching for whenever whenever we want we, we, we are we are going to google and start searching searching for whenever we want prior to this is prior to prior to google all these directory directory websites people would go to go on aol.com yahoo.com that is prior to Uh, google they they basically yahoo.com or aol.com they are directories there is a new there is a new section which would uh, link to pop there is a new section which would uh, link to popular news sites li like uh, uh, something like uh, I, i i can say uh, cnn uh, or cn cnbc extra that that's how that's uh, that was how web was operating in the early Uh, mid 90s before google became popular search engine uh, before uh, uh, before google became popular search engine so in this world there are two types of pages uh, they, there were uh, uh, hubs and i can say authorities you can think of hub is a site which had lots of outlinks what is hub hub is a site which has lots of outlinks isn't it think of hub hub is something like lot of links going away from it isn't it lot of links going away from it so yahoo.com has lots of pages lots of links to other websites similarly aol.com links to lot of other websites yahoo can think of yahoo can think of aol and yahoo uh, and yahoo uh, has you can think of yahoo.com and aol.com as hubs because if you think logically it's it's hub from which you can go to multiple other pages you have your yahoo.com or aol.com and what you, what you will notice here is it has lot of outlinks that is important it has lot of outlinks if the out degree is large if the out degree is large then the page is called hub the other type of page is called authority isn't it so typically you would see the pages like 
from cnn.com slash politics, bbc.com or pages like mit.edu. These pages may not link to many other pages, but they, but the link but, but the link in links they get lot of in links uh, in links to from lot of other websites like uh, yahoo.com aol.com from many more internet sites so this site is called authority if you have lots of in links or if you are in degree if your in degree is large if your in degree is large that is important this is called an authority just see here here in this particular picture you have your in degree is large isn't it therefore i can say it is authority here out degree is large it is hub isn't it? it it's an authority what about this this is basically what it is just a minute yes this what is this this one is a, it's an authority because lots of people pointing into pointing into you lots of People think that you yours is high authority site, is yours is high quality site or high quality page with lots of authoritative information, and hence you are called as an authority. Let's assume WI is a web page, isn't it? WI is a web page. It gives two scores to each page. One is called hub score, here H means hub score, and other is called authoritative score. It basically gives you two scores. How important hub score, hub you are, uh, it basically gives you two scores, how important hub you are and how important authority you are. Let me give a brief overview of algorithm itself. I am not going to too many details. I will give the intuition behind it. So, in a nutshell, what happens is at the start for every page P, for every page P, the authority score is 1 and the hub score is also 1 at the start. This is your initialization condition. This is an iterative algorithm. This is how you update the authority, isn't it? This is how you update the hub score, isn't it? So, authority of page P, authority of page P is the summation. What is authority of page P? Just try to understand just just see this one authority authority of page p authority of page p is the summation of the hub score of all the pages that p is connected isn't it similarly for each page p you would update your hub score as summation of all the authority score isn't it it's a summation of your hub score is summation of all the summation of all the authority authority score isn't it for example how will you calculate for example this one hub means what this is hub for example this is yahoo.com let me say it is a directory yahoo.com prior to google days there are so many outlinks how can i calculate how can i calculate update of hub hub value of p so, um, q belongs to p from authority authority of q isn't it? This is this is authority, isn't it? This is hub. This one is a hub. Yes, you can one can understand. My hub score is summation of all the authority scores of all the pages that I am linking out. Isn't it? Now, now if I keep running this loop every time, the value of authority and hub score would go to infinity. Isn't it? If I keep on running this, if I keep on running this, these values, which value? Hub, hub authority value hub value these may go to infinity isn't it let me repeat uh, what it says the values of the if i keep running this loop every time the, if i keep running this loop every time the values of authority and hub score would go to infinity so what we do is once if we update if we update authority score and hub scores uh, hub scores of every page or every vertex we simply normalize it isn't it just say there is something like after updating what we will do we have to normalize it isn't it so that uh, normalize it so that scores don't become infinity infinitely large very very simple algorithm once you keep 
updating your authority score and hub score for each page once you are updating updating your authority score and hub score for each page once you do that you normalize it there are there are three steps in this algorithm first th first thing is your initialization you were update up, update the authority score then you update the hub score then you normalize then you keep repeating this as you keep repeating this loop first you also you first you do authority update hub update normalize your normalize you keep doing this iteratively eventually what will happen is the scores that you get the authority score for p and the hub score for p would converge that can be proven mathematically so you have authority update and hub update and then normalization isn't it so keep doing it eventually you keep running this iteration till the time the authority score and hub score do not change much this is this is uh, now, this is what is the hits algorithm just this is pseudo code given in wikipedia itself i request all of you to study this particular wikipedia if you have any difficulty please keep a comment thank you very much